Hi, welcome to Revival Cycles. I'm Stefan, and we're back with another Tech Talk. Today we're talking about the Moto Gadget Chrono Classic gauge, and like all Moto Gadget stuff, it comes in a super boring plain white box. Now inside, we find the instructions. First and foremost, these are really pretty good. They've got a lot of information. They do have everything you need to know. Uh, the translation's a little bit spotty, but it's if you spend some time, you'll get through it. This instruction manual is also available as a PDF on our website. You can find it in the product listing and download it and actually read through this whole thing before you ever even purchase it. It can be really useful to get a good grip on how it works and what all the features are. Um, next we find the gauge. Uh, we'll look at that in a second. We also have a little baggie with installation hardware and um, a connector for the other side of the wire harness and a fuse holder. And this fuse holder is just to protect the gauge from the higher currents in the, in the bike harness. Uh, this will keep the gauge protected with one amp instead of the 15 or 20 amps that the harness might have on it. So let's take a look at this gauge. First thing I always notice with the Moto Gadget stuff is that the build quality really is quite good. Um, all the surface finishes are flawless, the machining is impeccable, the glass is crystal clear, the printing on the gauge face is, is really sharp um, and, and well registered. Even the back, they take time to make sure that the laser etching on the back is really clean and, and uh, straightforward. They mark the mounting holes so that you know what thread it is, you don't even have to guess, you know that this is an M4. So it's just those little details that make this a top quality product. Uh, you can even feel the weight. This is not just a cheap knockoff, you know, quickly manufactured in China product. This is a really well done instrument. This one is set up as a tachometer. They are available as speedometers, uh, where the analog is uh, the analog sweep needle is a speedometer. This one, like I said, is a tach. This one registers 10,000 RPM. You can have these selected to register at 8, 10, and 14,000 RPM. If by chance you've got a bike that can rev beyond 14,000 RPM, that's awesome. And don't worry, the LCD in the bottom can also register the RPM and it will continue to register all the way out to 20,000 RPM. And if you've got a bike that does that, high five. So this LCD at the bottom also has a bunch of information that it can display, uh, maximum RPM, uh, maximum acceleration, top speed, uh, zero to 60 times, all kinds of stuff. We'll get into the details of that in a minute, but just note there's an LCD at the bottom and it displays a ton of functions. And then lastly, there are four um, LED indicators that take care of a turn si signal indicator, a high beam indicator, a neutral indicator, and then there's a little red light that can be used as a low oil pressure or a charging light or a check engine light if you've got an ECU on your bike. So there's a few other little cosmetic differences that you can choose when you're selecting these. There's a uh, chrome bezel that you can choose. This one has a black one. And then there's also a green or a black LCD option that you can choose. And some of the gauges are also available with a white face as opposed to the black one. So you can mix and match. All that stuff is available on our website. Figure out what looks best on your project. With that, let's take a look at an installation and we can go into the details of all the functions that this gauge has. Okay, here we've got um, one of the Ducatis that we built a few years back, Pyro. And this is one of the first bikes we actually installed the Chrono Classic gauge on. Um, I'll use this to kind of demonstrate what all the features are and then also show you how to configure the gauge for your specific motorcycle. All right, so we'll start by turning this gauge on. All right, there we go, powered up. And you notice that uh, we don't have a neutral light showing. It's because I left the bike in gear the last time, but we can bring that up. So there's neutral light, get that off. And then you can see the turn signal indicator light right there. and high beam indicator right next to it. And this bike doesn't have any um, check engine warnings going on right now, so you don't see this uh, fourth one. There's a little red triangle that you might have noticed just for a split second when it powered up. All right, so now the LCD. The top line is displaying miles per hour. You can configure this to either display miles per hour or kilometers, that's really your choice. And then below it right now, it's uh, showing 90.58 miles. So that's just a tripometer. Basically, you can reset that anytime. We'll start cycling through all the functions. The next one is um, a total odometer reading. This is a total time reading. So basically this is the amount of time that's, that the bike has been on. If I wanna reset this, I just press and hold the button. We get two bars and everything resets. I'm gonna do that again. So you see the first bar shows up, then the second, and then when I let it go, that's when it resets. All right, next it's displaying the voltage of the bike. So 13 volts right now. Uh, air temperature, 
we don't actually have an air temperature sensor connected to this gauge, so that one's just not showing anything. Oil, um, oil is below temperature right now, so we aren't getting any reading from that either. Um, oil pressure, also no oil pressure because the bike's not running, so no reading there. Then we've got the current acceleration, the instantaneous acceleration of the bike. It's not going anywhere, not accelerating, therefore zeros. Uh, next, we've got the current RPM. So this is a real-time uh, registration of RPM in addition to the analog needle. Uh, after that, average speed is 38 miles an hour. I think we need to work on bringing that up. Now, this is what would be used for a zero to 60 time. Uh, you, when you set this, you basically hold it, get two bars, and now as soon as you take off, it's going to count down and basically time how long it takes you to get to 60 miles an hour, so you can know your zero to 60 time. Uh, next, the top speed that we've had on this bike so far is 129 miles an hour, so not too shabby. Now, the maximum RPM this bike has seen is 8,736. Uh, maximum acceleration that we've seen is 5.8, so a little over half a G. I've recently reset, this is the maximum deceleration, and unfortunately I just reset it, so I have no idea what our maximum braking was. And then we're back to the beginning with our trip reading of 90 miles. All right, so that's the overview on the Chrono Classic gauge. Um, it really is an impressive instrument, and as you can see, it's got just a ton of built-in features that you won't find in any other gauge. Um, with all our products, we like to give you the best support we can. So if you do have any questions um, or difficulties with your installation, give us a call, send us an email. We're always here to help. But before you do those things, please read the instructions. Thanks for watching.